The question here says that prove that these three points whose coordinates are given are the vertices of a right angle triangle. So what we know about a right angle triangle that here to right angle isosceles triangle, right? So we know that in a right angle triangle, one angle is 90 degree and it's two of its sides are equal. So let's say if I make a right angle triangle, and it's an isosceles as well, where these two sides are equal. As of now, I'm not naming these uh, points for the reason we do not know the order here. Now, what we can do here, so we are going to apply this uh, distance formula here, first of all, to figure out or to find, uh, prove that two of its sides are equal. So let's say if I take name these points as A, whose coordinate I'm taking 3, 0, say the point B whose coordinate I'm taking 6, 4, and for C, I'm taking the coin coordinate as minus 1, 3, as for the given here. Now, first I'll find here AB using distance formula, AB is equal to whole under root, say x2 minus x1 whole square, so this is 6 minus 3 whole square, plus y2 minus y1 whole square, that's 4 minus 0 whole square. So as a result, we get 6 minus 3, which is 3. 3 whole square is 9. And 4 plus 0 is 4 whose whole square is 16. So therefore, we got AB as under root 25, which is 5. So this is of 5 unit. Now, once we got AB next, what we are going to do is to obtain the other length, that is BC here. Now, BC is what? the uh, BC, that is using these two. So it's x1 minus x2 whole square. So that is minus 1 minus 6, that is minus 7 whole square, plus y2 minus y1, that is 3 minus 1 is minus 1 whole square. So we get the length of BC as under root 49 plus 1, which is equal to under root 50. That's the length of BC. Same way, we are going to get the length of AC here now. The AC from A and C, that is, A is this, and C is this. So using the coordinates of A and C, so this is x2 minus x1 whole square, that is minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4 whole square, plus y2 minus y1, that is 3 minus 0 is 3 whole square. So this is AC is equal to, this is under root 16 plus 9, which is equal to under root 25, which is 5. Now, what do we get to know here that two sides are equal? And what are the two sides we got equal is AB and AC. So here, say AB, my AB is 5 and AC is also 5. So I can say that AB is equal to AC now. Now, further, we have to obtain the Pythagoras relation here, which says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. Now, this is what we are going to obtain here or show that. Let's say I use this space here, AB square. AB square is how much? That's 5 square 25. Now, if I get AC square here, AC square is 5 square as 25 only. And then if you obtain BC square here, BC square is under root 50. So clearly from here, we can say that since BC square is equal to, since BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square. So from the property of converse or theorem of converse of Pythagoras theorem, the side opposite to this angle, BC will be 90 degree, therefore B is 90 degree. And hence we prove that this are, these are the vertices of a right angle isosceles triangle.